Hi everybody, I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are using this book called You Wouldn't Want to Be an American Colonist. It's by Scholastic and we're using it as inspiration for our chalk drawing and I'm going to be drawing this today. Now I am drawing this on our mounted chalkboards which I picked up from Waldorf Supplies and I am using Sargent Art Chalk Pastels. Now I'm going about this chalk drawing a little bit differently than how I normally do it and that's, I'm, that's that's to do this in very small stages and have my son follow along. Now once the chalk drawing is done you'll be able to see his process and I think that this worked out pretty well however it's not the way that I typically go about doing a chalk drawing. Usually it's easier for me to do the whole thing because I'm I'm in the way, so it's harder for him to be able to follow along. But I think this one worked pretty well for him because I was able to guide him through each step of the process. Now I don't have a typical process video for you today. I am just showing you still photos of every step of the process. So you're not going to be able to see all the layering of colors but I do begin my chalk drawing just using white chalk to outline the whole drawing first. All right, so let's take a look at my 10 year old's process. This is for his main lesson book and he began exactly the way I did it. I did one drawing at a time and I told him how to do the forms. Now, neither of us can draw naturally and neither of us have taken any drawing classes. So this is me copying out of the book and putting it onto the chalkboard and then giving him tips. Now perspective drawing is not something that you would typically do with a 10 year old in a Waldorf setting that's generally used for 7th and 8th grade I believe. So there is a little bit of depth and three dimensionality to the cheese that he's doing and a little bit with the barrel. And those are really big challenges for him. So I might have helped him by doing an outline and then he can, he can come back in and redraw it and add his own lines. And that might help for you or for your student if you're finding that some of these shapes are a little bit challenging. Something else that's a little bit difficult is finding the right colors to shade the for, for this particular drawing, shade and, shading and browns and you know, reds and, and yellows, that can be a challenge for students as well. So what I did was I pulled out all of those colors for him first so that he had a nice palette of browns to work with. Now, I'm really pleased with his drawing and he's a little more critical of it, but I think he did really great. And if you wanna see some of the other videos that we have for our Colonial Times unit study, you can click on the screen. And don't forget that you can see still shots of all of these on my website at pepperandpine.com.